South Africa's outspoken opposition leader Julius Malema is called on Zimbabwean youth both within Zimbabwe and abroad to take a stand and express their dissatisfaction through demonstrations at the Misrina border post. The demonstrations are in response to the recently contested elections in Zimbabwe. Malema has stated his commitment to support these demonstrations, urging Zimbabwean youth to occupy the borders and halt the movement of goods until the rights of the people are restored. He said, why are they not occupying the borders of Zimbabwe there in Mosina? We will support them and say no car goes into Zimbabwe and no car comes out of Zimbabwe until the rights of our people are restored in Zimbabwe. Why is the youth of Zimbabwe not rising in Zimbabwe and face death because they are already dead? Malema's statement coincided with the organization of a peaceful demonstration by Zimbabweans in the diaspora who plan to occupy the Mosina or Bay Bridge border post. This action stems from the Zimbabwean opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, rejecting the election results due to the perceived violations of domestic and foreign electoral standards. The elections have also been criticized by regional, local, continental and international observers who claimed that they were neither free, fair nor credible, resulting in an invalid outcome. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission declared Mr. Mnangagwa the winner with a controversial 52.6% margin against his opponent advocate Nelson Chamisa, who allegedly received 44% of the vote. Triple C's debut spokesperson, Honorable Ostalo Sisiwa, expressed disappointment in the results, stating that they do not align with the flawed process conducted by ZEC. According to Sisiwa, the announced results cannot be verified and do not reflect the true will of the Zimbabwean people. The somber atmosphere and the public's reaction to the announcement of the results further strengthen their disbelief. We had said to Zek, even in a flawed process, they were supposed to announce accurate results. The 52.6% awarded to Mr. Mnangagwa does not even represent Zek's flawed process. The announced results do not align with what the ZEC gathered from polling stations. This 52.6% cannot be verified and does not reflect the true will of the Zimbabwean people. The mood when the results were announced tells a story in itself. No data is needed to prove it. It was a somber atmosphere akin to a funeral. The day after the flood election, Zimbabweans were concerned, shocked and saddened because they knew that the announced results did not reflect their true votes. In response, Triple C leader President Chamisa is currently engaged in countrywide engagement sessions with cluster leaders and citizens to discuss the way forward after the disputed elections.